Hi, I'm Aaron Frankel, the founder of JerusalemExperience.com. And today we are visiting the prison of Christ according to the Greek Orthodox Church at the site's name, the Praetorium Monastery. So let's enjoy this video. Welcome to JerusalemExperience.com, the place where you can watch videos from Jerusalem and its holy sites from your computer at home. Today we are visiting a Greek Orthodox monastery called Praetorium, which is believed to be the place where Jesus' trial took place. It is also believed to be the place of the prison of Jesus where he was held before his trial. The Latin term Praetorium means a place of judgment and it is derived from Praetorian, which means a judge in ancient Rome. The Greek monastery that we are visiting today was built during the 18th century and is located along the beginning of the Via Dolorosa right after the Notre Dame de Sion convent, which contains the Eke Omo arch, Behold the Man, and before station number three of the Via Dolorosa, where Jesus falls for the first time. Now, let's enter and visit the prison where Jesus was held prior to his trial. When we go down the first staircase, we enter a small, beautiful Orthodox Greek church. Before we get to see the prison of Jesus, let's get down these stairs to see prison cells where prisoners were held and tortured by the Romans, probably before being put up to trial. Over there is a carved bench where prisoners were held while their hands tied with iron shackles to the wall behind them. Close your eyes and I'm sure you can imagine that. If we look closer, we can see the dents where the iron shackles were tied to the wall. Now, Let's see the prison cell, believed to be the place where the two thieves that were crucified along with Jesus and Barabbas were also held. Now, for the highlight of this place, the prison cell where Jesus was held. The cell is located right above, at the same level of the church. Here is the entrance that leads to an isolated cell where it is believed to be the cell where Jesus was held. Here on this bench, Jesus sat with his legs through these two holes in the rock while his ankles were tied in shackles and his hands tied to the walls at these dents, one on each side. Just imagine Jesus spending the night inside this dark, cold and solitary cell knowing what he is expecting the morning after. This is an excellent place to meditate on Jesus' suffering. 